So on this one, we've got 35 tenths times 83 sixty thirds divided by 16 twenty sevenths. Now, we have a multiplication of fractions and a division. And we think about the order of operations. PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You can do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiply, then divide. And then add, then subtract, but multiplication and division have the same importance level. As long as if you, and you're going from left to right, and so, you know, we can multiply and then divide. Or if we wanted to, we could first divide, like, and then multiply everything together. But, um, yeah, if, so one way is to multiply first. So we can multiply these guys and just forget about the division for now. So, but before we multiply, can we cross cancel? Yeah. Right. Great. 10 into 10 goes once. 10 into 80. 8. Perfect. What about uh, anything else cross cancel? Yep. Yeah. What goes into both of these numbers? Five goes into thirty-five. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Yeah, because seven into thirty-five, five times. Oops, let me do that in red. And seven into sixty-three. Nine times, right? Right, so... Anything else? Can anything else cross cancel? Nine, five, eight, anything? No. No. So you have five times eight on the top, which is forty, over one times nine, nine, right? Now, we've got this divided by this. When we're dividing fractions, which one do we flip and then multiply? Yeah, yeah, flip the one on the right. So multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right, 27 sixteenths. And now, can anything cross cancel before we multiply? Yep, 9 to 9 goes once, 9 into 27. Yep, good. Uh, 40 and 16. Yep, 2 into 16 goes 8 times. Now, 2 into 40, 2 into 4 goes twice, 2 into 0 goes 0 times, or 2 into 40 goes 20 times. Same thing, right? Um, anything else cross cancel there? How about 20 and 8? <laughs> Two, yeah, or what else? How about four? Right, four into eight. Two fours and eight, right? And four into twenty. Yep, good. So now you got on the top five times three over one times two, right? So 5 times 3, yep, over 1 times 2 is 2. So 15 over 2, 15 halves, and write that as a mixed number for fun. So 2 into 15 goes how many times? Yeah, 14, yeah, so, so 15, yeah, 15 is 14 plus 1, yeah. So 2 into 15 goes how many times? 
Seven. Seven times, right? Remainder of one. So seven and a half. Yep.